Well, hello, my friends. It's Angela. How are y'all doing today? Welcome back to the car. I hope you enjoyed our short video yesterday on the freeze dryer. I will be doing some other videos like that, and I'm really thinking about doing a homestead kind of channel. I don't know. Well, let me know what y'all think. Yay or nay to doing homestead kind of things or just randomly putting them on this channel. It is five o'clock. We're only gonna be out here a couple hours, just um, long enough to try to get a video in because we did extra hours today at our W2 and I am really tired. And then tomorrow we'll be out probably from five to 7.30 and that will be it for that video and because we have a scheduled block from 5 30 to 6 30 or 6 30 to 7 30 i guess it is and then we're going to work extra hours we're going to do some overtime again on friday at our w2 job so you know we just got to make this extra money because it's not coming off the trees so <laughs> we got to make it somewhere so let's get started i do have grubhub running and they do have i think it's two dollars extra per delivery um kind of mission going on let's see yep two dollars for one delivery till 5 30. um don't think there's any nope no times to to get a block so let's get going and we'll see you back here as soon as we get a delivery well guys we got the first one and we almost we almost always take the first offer seems to help when throughout you know through for the rest of them and we're in this horrific traffic they have two lanes of the interstate shut down so hopefully sorry hopefully we can get there on time but we're going to mcdonald's it's 6.7 miles for 578 so let's go to mcdonald's barely made it with no time to spare oh you know my back is hurt or my hip i don't even know what you call it but i really need to go to the chiropractor but i guess i'm gonna get in the hot tub tonight for just a little bit it is really hurting me Seven seven five. Yes. Yes. Thank you. I appreciate it. All right. They were finishing it as we got there. So that's perfect. Now let's go deliver some McDonald's. Moving it around doesn't help very well. So now we're going. It must be fast food. What is it? Wednesday. Um, we're going to Taco Bell. It is 5.4 miles for six dollars and two cents. So let's go to Taco Bell. Be 
it sitting there. Mm. Hello. Let me see. It's for Lane. Yes. <laughs> Thank you. You too. Let's go get it delivered. Yeah, see, it's hard because this little bag is not very heavy. I'm not sure what's in it. It's not heavy at all. There we go. Thank you for your order. Have a great night all right guys we got that one delivered and we have our next one all right guys so our next one is la frontera it's 12 and a half miles for 14.49 so not horrible just brings us back in the same vicinity that we just dropped off in so not bad restaurants are over there or over here where we currently are and let's go pick up some Mexican food and we'll see you at the drop-off not sure leave on the swing and ring the doorbell put all that stuff in there it makes it hard Thank y'all. Have a great night. All right. Let's see what comes next. All right, guys. So we just filled up with gas. We got this horrible raisin cane order. Um, of course, took it because we got to keep our stats up. So needless to say, we have to take all the dang orders. I don't know what this person is doing. She was trying to turn and she the dude behind her is that's behind me is just giving her the stink eye because she didn't know where she's going so this raisin cane 8.6 miles for seven dollars and 45 cents and so we're why they picked this particular raisin cane i do not know um because we're coming right back over here where we're where we are right now to this drop to the drop off so it's kind of ridiculous but whatever so let's go to raisin cane i'll see you at the drop off can hear her little puppy already <laughs> Let's see if we can get one more and then we will head home and call it a day. Y'all, there's all kinds of hot spots besides this trash. <sighs> Going to another McDonald's. Like I said, it is fast food Thursday. It is 5.9 miles for 6.37. So we are going to go to McDonald's. So one, and I do not know, I think it was the Taco Bell order. That customer just tipped us an extra $3. Y'all, we delivered that like an hour ago or something. I don't know. But they gave us an extra $3 tip, which is amazing. So let's go to Mickey D's and pick this up. is the number.
Jani a speaker. told it was ready was when I pulled in the lot. You got it. Thank you for your order. Have a great night. Okay, okay. Let's look at this and we'll figure out what we're going to do. All right, guys. Well, we're going to go ahead and go home. It, we spent two and a half hours out here and I mean we put in like five hours of overtime at our W-2 job today so um, you know we're not like have to make a certain amount luckily we were blessed that we were able to um, work overtime or work a few extra hours and still come out and do you know a little video for you guys and I just appreciate each and every one of you that watches the videos y'all y'all really helping us so much and I just thank you all you're amazing and this is a great community and I just thank you all from the bottom of my heart and we thank you for all your support in our crazy time of our lives with this, you know, property that we're trying to get fixed up. Um, hopefully, we can repair the drywall ourselves and I can at least paint. I think there's at least two bedrooms I can paint um, Sunday. Hopefully, I can get them both done. Um, and then we can get the drywall repaired, get it painted. Um, that'll be a little bit less than we'll have to pay the, you know, contractor person that's going to do the doors. But, you know, the doors, they, y'all, they were told that we needed this done ASAP, that we did not have a lot of time to wait, that we needed to get this house done, that all of this, you know, project needed to be done soon. I'm fixing to have to turn into the sun, so we're going to continue this conversation in a moment. All right, guys. Oh, and I should have gone down one more street, so I forgot the street is being worked on, but that's okay. So, yeah, if we can get that done and get this house painted, then um, we can get it on the market and just let them know that the door jams in these doors are going to be replaced. Um, I was told yesterday that they are out like, you know, four to six weeks. Well, why didn't you tell us that when we told, when David told him that, you know, we needed this done like a month ago? Um, I don't understand people that do not listen when you are letting them know something. Why didn't he just say, hey, you know, it's two to three weeks for the doors and then total project four to six weeks we would have found someone else 
because they were on a vacation for a week. So, you know, and then no communication about anything. So, uh, here we go on the sun again. All right. So, yeah. I mean, we can't wait four to six weeks to get this house on the market. So, we are going to do everything that we possibly can in the next two weekends to get it to where we can at least get it on the market, get it shown, and, you know, let them know that these things will be, you know, they're scheduled to be repaired. Um, you know, that's all we can do. So, but y'all was looking. So the base pay was twenty dollars and twenty four cents. The tips twenty two eighty seven. But do you know, had we not gotten that extra three dollar tip from our customer? We would be at 19, right? Yeah, 1987. So we would have made less in tips than we made in delivery pay, which is insane because that doesn't normally happen. So that's okay. Grateful for $43, you know. Wow. Um, you know, grateful for all of you. Thank you for listening to my little tirade about the rental property. And we'll be out here tomorrow probably for about the same amount of time. Um, maybe a little bit less. We may only be out for two hours. Um, because we are doing the exact same thing tomorrow night. Work-wise that we did last night. So, it just makes it a little more difficult when it comes to being able to get out here and do a video. So, you know, but I want y'all to have the videos. It, you know, y'all all help us. We appreciate you. Thank you for watching um, the video I posted today about the freeze dryer. And honestly, let me know what you think about a homestead channel where you know we're gonna do freeze-dried stuff we will do you know how to preserve um, things whether it comes from the grocery store or from your garden or you know whatever we are blessed that we do have a freeze-dry order um, so I gotta order some candies because it is a, well, it's candy and apples. So we'll have to get some apples from the store and do those. So I'm excited. Y'all, the bad thing with those apples is that I have got to, I need to figure out how many apples slices I can get in one apple because I could sit in and eat the whole freaking bag and not think about it but then the problem is how many calories did you eat how many apples did you actually sit down and eat that's what you gotta think about so all right i'll let you go thanks for hanging out with me and we will see you tomorrow and hope you are all making lots of money and just again thank you so much we'll see you on the next one